Okay, we're back. Part two of the video on nationalism in the interwar period in Africa. Uh, slide 39, starting with these questions, leaving off with just find what is pan-Africanism and the the idea that uh, uh, W.E.B. Du Bois organized the Pan-African Congress parallel with the Paris Peace Conference and calling for, uh, calling for a charter of rights for Africans. Uh, in South Africa, uh, it was largely unsuccessful, but it would grease the wheels for, for later independence in Africa. South Africa was the first, uh, because they were obviously one of the most oppressed, to uh, organize a political party, the African National Congress. They even uh, traveled to England to raise support um, th with Gandhi. Egypt is the first country to, to gain independence. That shouldn't be too surprising. Um, uh, resistance to British rule starts to flare up. Christians, Muslims all unite under under the Waft party and, and they announce independence, but they would um, but continue to rule through King Foyd. Um, and the British troops, of course, are going to keep control of the Suez Canal because it's a major trade route. Um, so that um, so it was, it was quasi independence, but um, the, the British the British were so uh, controlling major aspects of trade and and um, had their, the Egypt's king. Um, the wishes of, of the British were honored by Egypt's king. Um, another resistance movement. Um, was in Kenya, um, and the uh, a Kenyan ethnic group protested the loss of land, um, and the British um, jail their leader. But protests continue in in, in Nigeria. Um, market women start the women's war and demand a voice in decisions. So um, th these are some um, examples of resistance. Um, in, in, in Africa. And then going back up, uh, there was a question about what is the Negritude movement? A movement that was born in Paris in the 30s and 40s, a product of black writers joined together, kind of like the um, the movement here in the United States. Um, and it was a product of them joining together and, and African heritage is um, celebrated kind of like Similar to, it's kind of you know the the, the worldwide um, Harlem Renaissance it, it, it parallels that in the United States, um, but little change is made to colonial rule. Um, that the, the, there was the idea, hey, we need to be recognized, um, and the 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 country that the the group that helps them, um, the, the last question, the group that helps them gain. Um, independence from Britain is the, the Muslim Brotherhood, and there's this broad Islamic nationalism that rejects Western culture. Um, so this part you don't necessarily need to write anything, but for this, um, you know, which group helped them and what tactics did they use? They used an aggressive Islamic nationalism that rejected Islamic culture. So the the Muslim Brotherhood is this religious and political group founded on the belief that. Islam is not simply a religion, but a way of life. And they moved; they wanted to move away from secularism, return to you know the, the fundamentals of the Quran. Um, so basically, it's it's a forerunner of the modern militant Islam, Islam Islamism Islamism, excuse me. And they and they are the group that helps to Egypt to gain independence. Um, they're rejecting violent means, so they use a lot of um, some nonviolent means, um, but it, it it's it's rather aggressive. Um, uh, but there was some attacks, even though officially they had resisted violent means. So it was still fairly aggressive. So the the question at the bottom: what, critical attributes of nationalism in Africa. Okay, well, what would those be? What would those critical attributes be? Um, you know. Uh, Probably resistance, uh, resistance, but um, not quite uh, resistance to uh, colonial rule. Um, wanting to recognize their their ethnicity, recognize their rights, um, but you know they're not quite there yet, um, and, and and emerging to gain independence. Um, I would say one of the, the major critical attributes it takes uh, it takes its, its role in, in the idea of the negritude movement um, to celebrate cultural identity as well as um, the, 
the political party um, about a charter of rights for Africans, recognizing the rights, the culture, the ethnicity of Africans and, and, and giving them rights of self-determination in the colonies. Those would be some critical attributes of, of nationalism in Africa if you're, if you're looking to summarize.